NNCN, National News Cryptozoology Network, with Jane McIntosh Derby Laxerty. Today we are going to discuss the Loch Ness Monster with Dr. Jim Barker Vasquekabob, a cryptozoologist. So, Doctor, what would you like to talk about today, and what is a cryptozoologist? Well, Jane, I would like to discuss the theories of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland, and a cryptozoologist is a person who studies cryptids. Really, Jim? Well, what are these theories? First, we have the theory of a plesiosaur. Can you expand on that, Jim? Sure. Most scientists believe this theory. They believe that a plesiosaur swam into Lake Loch Ness and survived there, while all other dinosaurs died out. Do you have a visual, Jim? Yes, here on my laptop. As you can see, they match up pretty well. Yes, they do, Jim. Let's move on. Another theory is an, is an elephant. An elephant? Yes, I personally don't agree with that theory. Please expand. For some reason, an elephant turned into a theory. Let us take a comparison. I guess it can relate. However, an elephant in Scotland? I can't imagine it. Neither can I, Jim. Next, we have the theory of a seal. Well, Jim, how could a seal have such a long body part? I truly don't know, Jane. I've tried comparing a couple of times. By all means, let us see. Okay, it really can't match. Concerning my papers, our next consideration is a long-necked newt. I brought one here today. Yes, a very not logical suggestion in my... That is our psychotic assistant. Well, in my opinion, it is not very logical. I'd say. I don't see how people could think this up, because the newt is about two inches long. The Loch Ness Monster is definitely bigger than that. What the heck? That suggestion is out of the question. Duh. Our next theory, Jim? The sturgeon is our next theory. It is a giant of a fish, some up to six feet. On my papers, though, Jim, the Loch Ness Monster is reported to be around 15 to 25 feet. That's the problem. Let me take this call. Yes? No? Goodbye. Who is that? Some guy in Africa. As I was saying, that's the problem. Let's take a look. The other problem is that a sturgeon has never been reported in the Loch Ness Lake. They have been reported in rivers a little ways away from the Loch Ness. Are there any other theories? Some people think it is a ghost or mirage, although I do not believe in ghosts. I agree. Well, thanks for watching NNCN, National News Cryptozoology Network. Come again another time. Bye.